Nile Valley Civilization of Black Kings The Kush Kingdom, located in what is now Sudan, thrived from around 1070 BCE to 350 CE and was known for its rich culture, powerful rulers, and significant achievements in ironworking and trade. This ancient African civilization played a crucial role in the history of the Nile Valley and interacted extensively with ancient Egypt. The Kushite kings once conquered and ruled Egypt as its 25th dynasty, emphasizing their influence in the region. They built impressive pyramids at sites like Moro, showcasing their architectural prowess and burial traditions. The kingdom's decline began in the 4th century CE due to internal strife and external pressures. In this video, we will tell you how this huge kingdom came into being, their rise and fall, their culture and religion, their amazing trading system, their strong military and battle, its breathtaking legacy, and its downfall. Let's dive in and discover all these aspects about this extraordinary ancient kingdom. Origin and rise. Well, it all started in a place called Nubia. Nubia was a region along the Nile River, south of Egypt. The people who lived there were called Nubians, and they were known for being great archers. The Egyptians called Nubia the land of the bow because the Nubians were so good with bows and arrows. The kingdom of Kush began to grow strong thousands of years ago. At first, there was a city called Kerma that became important. Kerma was in a great spot near the Nile River, which made it easy for people to trade and travel. As time went on, the people of Kerma got stronger and started to build their own kingdom. They made beautiful pottery, jewelry, and buildings. The kings of Kerma became more and more powerful, but then something big happened. The Egyptians, who were Kush's neighbors to the north, invaded Nubia. They took over Kerma and ruled Nubia for hundreds of years. But the Kushites didn't give up. They kept their own culture and waited for their chance to be independent again. Finally, Egypt became weaker, and the Kushites saw their opportunity. They started to build up their power again, this time from a new city called Napata. The kings of Napata got stronger and stronger until they were able to push the Egyptians out of Nubia. But the Kushites didn't stop there. They were so strong that they conquered Egypt itself. For about a century, Kushite kings ruled as pharaohs of Egypt. Can you imagine that? The tables had turned, and now Kush was in charge of the mighty Egyptian empire. Economy and Trade the kingdom of Kush had a really strong economy, which means they were good at making and selling things. One of the most important things Kush had was gold. They had lots of gold mines, and this made them very rich. People from other countries wanted Kushite gold, so the Kushites could trade it for other things they needed. But gold wasn't the only thing Kush was famous for. They also had iron. The Kushites were good at making iron. They had big iron factories in Mero, and they made things like tools and weapons. Ivory. They got ivory from elephant tusks and used it to make beautiful carvings and jewelry. Ebony wood. This is a special dark wood that was used to make furniture and decorations. Ostrich feathers. These were popular for making fans and decorating clothes. Animals. They traded exotic animals like leopards and monkeys. The Kushites were smart traders. They used the Nile River to send their goods to Egypt and other places. They also had routes through the desert to trade with people in other parts of Africa. But the Kushites didn't just sell things, they bought stuff too. They got olive oil and wine from the Mediterranean, spices from India, and silk from China. This shows that Kush was connected to many different parts of the ancient world. Farming was important too. The land near the Nile was very good for growing crops like wheat, barley, and dates. The Kushites built clever irrigation systems to water their farms, which helped them grow lots of food. All of this trade and farming made Kush very wealthy. Many Kushite people had good jobs as traders, farmers, or craftsmen. 
So, the kingdom of Kush had a strong and diverse economy. They were good at making things, growing food, and trading with other countries. This helped make Kush one of the most powerful and wealthy kingdoms in ancient Africa.